Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, September the 15th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 15, the first way of service continued. The heart of our prayer is the Eucharist, in which we share with other Christians the renewal of our union with our Lord and Savior in his sacrifice, remembering his death and receiving his spiritual food. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience, and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O God, do not forsake me, till I make known your strength to this generation, and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? You have shown me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Holy God, be our strength and our salvation that we may never be ashamed to praise you for your mighty acts. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, 
Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it, and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the United States. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for King Charles, the Governor General, the Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. We pray for those young children at home and in daycares, in elementary school. We pray for our young people in high school, college, or university. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. Most especially remember this day those among us who are affected by systemic racism, poverty, prejudice, or homelessness. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel, most especially for St. Matthew, St. Mary, and St. Francis. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the African province, for Johannesburg, 
Pretoria, and Lowveld. And we pray for Jonathan, Victoria, Anne, John, Earl, Elita, Germaine, Haiti, Leslie, Patricia, Mark, Anna, Evelyn, Wagner, Jose, Laura, Lois, Umberto, Mateus, Ruth, Carl, Thomas, Mary, Felipe, and our companions, Mary, Beverly, and William. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you call your church to witness that in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love that all who hear it may turn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.